What's up? This is Felix77. <clears throat> and I want to give you guys a tutorial on the motorized faceplate on the Iron Man mask. Um, and by the way, for those that saw my first video clip about Iron Man, the hand repulsor, forget about that one. I'm, I'm going to be updating one. I finished it out and it's fantastic. But let's get back to the motorized faceplate. First of all, this video right now is just to show you guys that I was able to create uh, well the hinge system. And it's pretty basically simple. You could buy everything. I uh, will be a telling you guys the material needed absolutely all the material needed with the prices so like that before you guys get involved in a motorized faceplate uh, just to know what you guys are getting yourselves involved to so uh, everybody says it's cheap to do a, a, a cosplay Iron Man suit but when you think about it with all the paint involved and the other accessories, the motors, the servos, uh, and stuff like that, uh, shipping and handling, the paint, uh, whatever. It, it comes up a bit more than what we expect. So for now, I'm just going to come up with my hinge system and tell you guys uh, the way I set it up. And if you guys like it, uh, from there on on my next video because like this is part one on my next video I'll be telling you guys the material needed and the next video I'll be telling you like the complete setup how to do it and Where to get the stuff and, and stuff like that and so on and so on so let, let's get straight to uh, the Iron Man helmet. I'm filming with my iPhone So it's pretty hard to do with one hand everything, but I'll try to do the best I can. So he here we got uh, just a printed Iron Man hel helmet from the profile and I, I taped down my, my helmet and lifted up certain spots with some uh, you know foam so because my face plate I, I put some foam underneath so my hinge could stick to it and and whatever so basically uh, the hardest part was to find like everybody shows their stuff but doesn't really show it you know and but anyways uh, this is a pretty easy setup it's an L hinge with a pivot on top and you need just like one pivot point and another pivot point on the face mask so well, I, I I'll I'm putting the pivot point on the face mask because I like it to like kink over and then just kink back down instead of a full movement. Anyways, you'll understand. Uh, the movement looks. It took some time to find out where to place everything and how everything is gonna be, but uh, yeah, basically. This is the the setup. Okay, so the helmet now is now closed. The hinge system will be looking a bit like this. So it's not really bothering anybody. And it goes across, see this is the eye. And right about on top over here. So once you get your pivot point right, not because I'm doing it with one hand, I'll try my best to uh, to make it all perfect. But everything's just holding temporarily. So yeah, okay. So I'll hold down my pivot point, and you make it go up. There you go. And I wanted it pretty up. Like I, I see a lot of people that do their faceplate. And once they show the video, I don't really like it because you could barely see the guy's face. In Iron Man, you could see his face a lot, and they don't have to lift up their head, you know, just to show their eyes, you know. So my, my basic point is, I want the faceplate really 
laying down onto the the top and once it reaches there I wanted to you know just lay down and put some magnets here in the back so it actually holds you know just some light magnets and then when the pivot goes back down oh, sorry about that when the pivot goes back down you just make it go back down and there you go you know it goes up and goes back down it's supposed to fit in the mount here but just like this is all paper and, and foam I'll be testing it out on my helmet pretty soon but I'm, I'm pretty sure about this and with this system I still don't have to cut any holes in the tracking like I tried a lot of different angles in different spots to actually get to this point so yeah I, I, this this is the best angle I found if I bring it down more and bring this let's say I, this was my first angle at the beginning I brought it really flush like that and my pivot point was right here but I couldn't get nothing out of this because once it would lift you're, you're completely blocking everywhere inside I tried so many pivot points so basically the best one I found was a bit, a bit to the top right there and I just plunge this in here meanwhile so that's why it's not going perfectly everything is loosed up nothing's really bolted in I didn't rivet nothing because I want to do it to my helmet, you know. But when, when you do the, the rotation nice, it's perfect. Actually, there you go. It goes like that. There. Yeah. And then when it goes back down. Sorry about that. Because of the gravity of the faceplate that's heavy, it's just going to fall into that slot right there. Bang. And lay right back into this position. You know maybe a bit better but so I think I think I came up with it pretty nicely uh, I'll tell you guys what you guys need to make this operation work I'm not going with the jaw I'm gonna go with the simple one just the faceplate if I find the system works really like flawlessly and it goes really well I'll I'll, I'll do something with cables related to this like I'm not gonna add more more hinges I'll just cable this with cables linked all around and link to this or from the side link to like one of these holes and it's gonna be pretty easy but I'm not there yet first I wanna really just get the face plate and and that's it but I think the system is actually flawless I wasn't able to find uh, other hinges that Guy suggested, but I, this will do the trick pretty fine. And that's it. So my second video will be telling you, first of all, like rate, comment, and subscribe if you guys like this video. And my second video will be telling you, you guys uh, exactly all the material you needed, the tools needed, and... Uh, the tools needed, the money needed for this, and uh, also all the electronics needed. I'll be laying out over here every little piece that's set it up. I, uh, I'm going to be using servos for this. I ordered two of them, and <coughs> the boat that I ordered are 66 grams of torque. If I'm not mistaken, I'm not very good in... in uh, in, in, in servos but uh, I'm a real noob in this stuff but I like it and like like I get hooked on it really quick and it's because of stealth that I got myself into this crazy Iron Man costume and I started this like when there was about 55 days left to Halloween so right now uh, I'm pretty far up in my suit but I still need some uh, like I ordered my, my servos they're supposed to be arriving on Monday 
Tuesday if everything goes well. So that's when my next uh, video is going to be updated. I'll be telling you the, the servos that I ordered, the price range for it, and everything that you need to do this uh, automated faceplate because uh, it seems such a secret and people want to keep it secretive for money uh, situations but I mean it's so ridiculous when any noob could actually build this himself without any complications and why have somebody like charge you $375 or $400 for uh, a fully functional helmet when you could do this way under that so uh, if you guys like it like I said uh, rate comment subscribe and uh, let me know if you guys want the update of the next videos of uh, of the way I'm gonna be uh, actually motorizing the system and incorporating it into my uh, my helmet so uh, let me know and I'll be more than happy to show you guys everything Peace out and major thanks to Stealth and Robo, uh, if I'm not mistaken, 3067, Darkseid and many others that helped out with the template files and uh, just encouraging other people to start off uh, this uh, like Peppercura stuff. It's really amazing and I got the knack for it. So anyways, be updating with you guys if you like it only. Alright, peace out and see you guys later.